I'm going to share with you two elements which are available in Canva and there will be one trick which I will be using a Canva Pro feature. So if you are using a free version, try to get a pro version. You make sure you watch this video till the end because it can make your template stand out of the crowd. So without any further ado, let's straight go to this one. So I have come to my screen. I'm going to create this particular head pop-up effect with one round frame and this one with another picture and this entire effect I'm going to recreate. So I have taken a new page. First I will choose one frame. You need to go to element and type your frame. You can choose any. I'm going to take this round one and keep it aside. Now I'm going to go upload and I'm choosing one of my uploaded pictures. You can go to upload media to get any of your folders access from this. So I will simply have to duplicate it and now I'm going to use one pro feature background remover. If you're not having pro feature you won't keep be getting this option. So it's important to get a pro feature here. So I've got two equal size photographs. Now I need to take the frame and put this photograph inside it will automatically take it now my job is to double click on this and then I will just pop it up now see my photo size is permitting me to pop up the head this much only so I if I need more I need to just extend it to a bit so that I am satisfied with the pop-up effect so this is okay with me so I will just click outside so this is how the picture is looking like now I need to put this picture on this but see whenever I'm putting it here inside the frame it is kind of sucking the picture and taking this picture instead of this one I don't want that so what I need to do is I need to press ctrl and then select this picture and adjust it with the size of the picture in the frame this is really tricky just be sure meticulous about the size and to check whether this is aligned properly I will have to go to this option and I'll have to reduce the transparency of the look of the front picture and I find that this is not exactly aligned in a proper way so now I think it is absolutely aligned now again as we will see 100 okay now this I got but this down part is still not okay so again control select and just reduce it so guys I'm done with my effect this is how it is looking like exactly same effect uh, head popped up and cropped from the below so this is one head pop-up effect. Now I'm going to recreate this one. So I'm going to take another page. For this I need one picture. I have gone to photos and I have selected this picture. You can take any picture as you wish. Same formula. Just duplicate it. And edit image. Background remover. Apply. And I will reduce the transparency a bit. Okay, so that it is helpful for me later. Okay, now I'm going to choose one frame of that this sort of a frame. So for that I will go to elements again frame. Now here I get this frame. I have used this one. Okay, now I'll just drag this picture to get it inside the frame. Make it bigger. Now double click on the picture and same process. I cannot make it big, so I'll have to put it like this so I'm done I'll have to press ctrl and then select this and then put this just right on top of this picture now I'll have to position it forward and now I'll have to again adjust keep adjusting until you get it right now I think it's okay I'll increase the transparency and voila it has come now what I'll have to do is just the part see I have no, no nothing outside a little bit this hand is outside so I'll just control and reduce it and now see this is the final effect so this is the final effect guys so you can see same thing I recreated so that was today's tips how to use how to make pop-up effect on 3d or you can use this sort of a photograph on your thumb a YouTube thumbnail it will be looking really great and it will keep a pretty effect which will set your thumbnail out of the crowd with that I will be finishing here if you like my this video definitely give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you get intimation about my next videos with that I'll be signing off for today I'll see you in my next video till then stay safe stay healthy